Coming up, we cross the wild expanse of Exmoor National Park, battle our way through the hills of Devon and Cornwall, and discover the taste sensation of the Cornish pasty. From the top to the bottom of the island, we go home. We're heading right. to the great unknown. Yeah, we're pedaling south from the highlands of John and Groves. We're heading out on Well rested after a peaceful night on the moors, we left the tranquil open surroundings of Exmoor National Park and headed further towards the finish line. Over the next few days we battled our way through the hills of Devon and into equally hilly Cornwall. The sun was shining strong, but we, on the other hand, were starting to drag our feet. Literally. Day number 33 and the hills of the southwest have started <laughs> pushing up the bikes pushing up the bikes we're definitely getting into 
hilly country now <laughs> and it's going to be quite slow progress but we've just four days left hopefully four days left and we'll just push through it like literally push through it <laughs> <laughs> anyway i think we're getting near the top and then it's comes the downhill our favorite part Whee! Yeah, look at you go! Oh, car! Watch out for the cars! Oh no! Oh no! Cars are always ruining the road, hey? Cars are always ruining the road. The road meant for cyclists. Is it uphill now? Yeah. Uh. How do you find these hills? Hilly. <laughs> Exhausting. <sighs> Close to the top. I hope maybe one day I'm fit enough to just cycle up the hills. Nobody in yeah, this world can become fit enough for this. I wonder. Don't want to cycle anymore? <laughs> no. Just a little afternoon break. Cycling is hard. Cycling is hard. <sighs> it is day 34. And the summer has come back to England. It's very hot. I'm very sweaty. And I think this is the hilliest day that we've had so far. What would you say? It's hot. Hot, eh? It feels like 40 degrees. Oh my God, it's like no wind. No wind. Just gotta wait for the next downhill to cool off. We just alternate between pushing and then cycling a little bit, but mainly, oh! Mainly pushing up the hills. Oh man, we just we just ready to get to the end. Wish us luck. Screw cycling! <laughs> Screw cycling! Oh man. This trail would be determined to challenge us until the very end. But what we've learnt on this journey is that in between the struggle, there is always beauty. Beauty in being in the great outdoors and experiencing new things every day. Making it to the top of the hill and seeing green spaces for miles around. Spaces to explore, to meet the locals and make new friends. Spaces to sit and eat our lunch. Or to settle in for an evening with a view. Not a bad spot for a camp, hey? That's lovely. In between the struggling ups and the perilous downs, we had time to watch the countryside of England roll by as we made our way, pedal by pedal, slowly but surely towards the finish line.
Good morning. Good morning. It is raining for the first time in quite a long time, but we woke up quite late, so we weren't already out cycling. So what we're doing is we're just gonna hide here for maybe one or two hours more. Just chill out, just relax. We have three days left to go until we reach Land's End. So yeah, the end is in sight. Yeah, so we'll just chill out here and then get on the road for our last leg. <laughs> it was an easy start to our 35th day on the road as we followed another of the Southwest's awesome former railway line turned cycleways known as the Camel Trail. The Camel Trail! All the way flat! All the way flat! <laughs> Beautiful! Okay, well, I'll just put it on the screen. How much is a full English? Okay. Yeah. Breakfast. Oh. It's too much. <laughs> Who went to hold him? Oh, it's just funny. Go and hold him. Go and walk away. Go and run. You never count your money. When you're sitting there at the table, you never count your money. Oh, you never count your money. Go and hold him. 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 Go and hold Oh, this is a very lovely town, though. Eating a nice lunch, hey? By the ocean? Voted world's best Cornish pasty. Padstow pasty. <laughs> Having a Cornish pasty in Cornwall from Padstow pasty. It's her first time enjoying the riches of Cornwall. All right, nice vegetable pasty. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me try. Mmm, vegetables. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. Mm, that's so like buttery and rich. Thumbs up from us. Next time, we enter the final leg of our 2,000 kilometer adventure, discover a crazy Martian landscape, and find the perfect camp spot for our final night on the trail. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time. <laughs>